Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, good vibrations. The little idea that I had, uh, I don't think I've ever heard of anything like this before, and I wonder, uh, I, I doubt any of you have ever tried it either, but it seems interesting to me and worth a try. Uh, it requires two automatic antenna tuners that are RF actuated. Y they cannot be controlled by the radio. Uh, in other words, you, don't, you should not have to use a separate control cable between the radio and the tuners because radios only have one control cable, if any, for cable-controlled automatic tuners or cord-controlled automatic tuners. They should be RF-actuated automatic antenna tuners. The radio connects through 50-ohm coax through to a one-to-one -one ballon. And then, sh and this can be just about any length you want. Uh, it's r about roughly where the center of your antenna would be. These lengths of coax uh, should be very, very short indeed. Um, as short as you can make them. Six inches. Uh, even if you can use uh, direct adapter connectors, uh, female to female or something like that, or, or you can just... Um, well, they, they need to be coaxial cable 50 ohm impedance devices. So, co or coaxial devices, 50 ohm impedance. These automatic antenna tuners should then provide you with 50 ohms of impedance here. Purely resistive and 50 ohms purely resistance, pure resistance here. These wires should ideally be of equal length, but I'm not sure that they really have to be. The only thing that's required is that this one-to-one -one ballon sees 50 ohms here and 50 ohms here. Now, if this is a one-to-one -one ballon, it's designed to work into a 50 ohm um, balanced output and that's where the rub might happen. Yes you'll see 50 ohms here and yes you'll see 50 ohms here. Um, but what are you going to get with this ballon? Are you going to get a 1 to 1 SWR or a 2 to 1 SWR? And the answer is I honestly don't know. But in the worst case scenario let's suppose that what you get is a 2 to 1 SWR between the ballon and the radio. These uh, two impedances uh, are on either side of the ballon, so I think that they might end up looking like 25 ohms at this coaxial line here. Now, in general, for all intents and purposes, 50 ohm coax, if it's a low loss feed line, will handle a 2 to 1 SWR uh, without introducing any additional loss. None whatsoever. And uh, so it's, it, or I should say, for all practical purposes, there is a little bit, but it's less than one decibel unless your line is exceptionally long, in which case it would be pretty lossy to begin with. So the radio might see an SWR as high as 2 to 1. It, um, but most radios are designed to automatically match SWRs of up to 2 to 1, and in some cases considerably more than that, just within themselves. They can handle that. Um, anything more than 2 to 1, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but always it'll work with 2 to 1. So although there may be some imperfections in this part of the circuit, they're not enough to amount to any additional loss in this cable nor any malfunctioning of the radio. This should look like a balanced antenna 
at this point right here so what this this balance should think that what you've really got here is just a plain old dipole with equal length wires and a plain old half wave dipole center fed right here no matter what these lengths I I wrote equal length because that would be in the ideal case but I don't think it necessarily that they have to be equal length uh, so you should get a pretty good antenna that way it would seem to me but I'm not absolutely certain uh, so I guess what I'll do uh, is run the risk of leaving comments open and uh, the main risk is that I won't see them all for some reason or another I, I won't be able to find them all they won't all show up uh, trolls are just automatically throw, thrown into the um, troll bin which is more or less the recycle bin in my perverted phlegmatic old and deranged brain so what do you think? Stan Jibalisco, W1, Good Vibrations, saying 73. And no matter what the arrangement's details are here, the signal will always come out as so long in CW. That is, da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.